and welcome back guys today i'm looking at mindjet my manager 18. now i've done a previous video just a 12 minute one to get you up and running on the very basics so what i'll do here is another quick video using task info now you can use this to plan project management maybe you want to plan your research or even revision so i want to start coming up the top here and i'm going to select timeline and then select create a blank one create map and now we're ready to go so I'm going to left click in there and I'm going to type research topic left click off of that so I've got my main idea now I'm going to create my next branch now I could do that by clicking the enter key sub branch I could press the insert key but you can see these little plus options just click on that and that will create your next little branch for you so first thing I'm just going to throw some stuff at this and obviously you do how you want but I want to give you the methodology so I'm just going to type in there PowerPoint presentation I'm going to right click PowerPoint to make sure that it's capital PowerPoint let me create the spinning quickly there as well now I'm going to create my next branch of PowerPoint presentation by clicking the plus option there's my subtopic that I could put in there notes from your lecture and tap off I'm going to click back on PowerPoint presentation Click the plus button and there's my next topic so next could be the actual research i need to do type research in there and tap off it again create some sub branches off of there one actually i'm going to do three so i could say the first place i'm going to do my research is the internet second books or i might even use journals the choice is there so we're building up our maps i want to go to research create another one off there next you could do plan and organize for example and tap off that and again you can create sub branches off of that again then add how you're going to plan that but i want to go back a bit because this is about task info so i want to go back when i said powerpoint presentation you might want to take some notes down now if i come up the top here and select note i can add a note to that Hold the left button, drag it along to the right a bit so you can see the actual map. So I could type in there, and you can add your notes in there. So I'm going to close that, and you can see it attaches with a little note option there. But also, you might actually have the PowerPoint or the PDFs you've downloaded from your Moodle, Blackboard, or Hub on your PC. So why don't we link that as well? So if I come up to the insert button, and let's just say you've got your PowerPoints already downloaded. I can select attach files and then choose the files that you want to attach by selecting the option here and click cancel. So you can do that as you go along. And also with the internet, again, you can come up the top here and you can select the link button and link websites if you want as well. But what I'm going to show you is the task info option. So to the right here, if I close it again and bring it open and left click, you can bring up your task info out. So I'm going to go to the first of my tasks, which is PowerPoint presentations I need to get notes down for. So I could do priority. I might feel that is priority. I need to do that first. So I'll make that one priority. Don't worry about progress for the moment, because you can put progress as you're going along. Now, when you're going to actually start, so I'm going to click the little calendar, and I'm going to say you're going to start on a Monday. And just leave it. That's when you're going to start. Don't do a finish yet. Due date because this is just your PowerPoint presentation. Your options underneath is when you actually add when you're going to finish. If I come down to notes, again, it's going to start on the 8th. We know that, but how long are you going to spend doing your notes on your PowerPoint presentation? Let's just say, let's just say three days. So we've got duration, three working days, and there it is down here, so it's listed. Again, priority, you could put that first priority before you can move on to your next one. Then we could go to research. So obviously you need the rest of this to finish from your PowerPoint presentation notes before you can even start your research. Or you might want to work at a bit of research and go back to your notes. It's up to how you work this. So I'm going to put this priority just for the sake of it too. Of course, internet's going to be my main priority where I'm going to do my research first. So I'm going to make that red priority number one. Books. I don't really want to get down in the library. I'm not in a hurry. So I'm going to make that free. And journals, which I can get online as well, I'm going to make that too. And that's how you break down task information as you're going along. 
But let me go back to it. So we've got research. So research is going to start, let's say on the 11th, which will be after the 10th there. So in the calendar, I'm going to select 11. So that's when you're going to start your research, when you finish your PowerPoint notes. Internet's priority, so we're going to start on the 11th, aren't we? How long are you going to spend on the internet? So you're going to spend to the following Wednesday. So you're doing from the 11th to the 17th, five days you're going to spend on research on the internet. And that's your number one priority. I mean, if you actually come down, you can read resources for so many different options. But what you could do, if I click on it, what you could do, you could type in www.worldcat.org. Separate by a comma, and you can put www. So say you're doing a medical degree, pubmed.com, and so on. So you can add those kind of sources in there if you want, and tap off it. And you can see they're listed underneath. So then we go to number two, journals. So you can probably start journals on the 18th. So again, you go through that process again. So tap it, click the 18th. So it starts on the 18th and work out how long you want to spend on looking for journals online. So let's just say the following Tuesday. And when you find journals, you can click on it and come up the top and select attach files if it's on your computer, or you can link it to an online website for your journals. But if we look at it, we're still in a map form, aren't we? So we need to come up to view. We've got schedule. Or we've got priority. Select priority. And there you go. We see the priority that you're working off. There's your main priority. There's your second priorities and so on, depending on how you actually organise them. Or if you prefer, go back to view. You can go to schedule. And show schedule view. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so you can see more of the timeline. There we go. And obviously you can print these out as well. And there's your timeline for what you need to do. Obviously these ones I'm adding no times to have I yet. So that's why they're sitting there. But the rest I have, and you can see the dates at the top, all organise you to work off. And by the way, say you went to notes on your first option of PowerPoint presentation. You could then select mark done, green, knowing you finished it. Or you can come to the top and select start. I'm not going to leave it on due, but you can have start date as well. So you know where to work off from the start of it if you prefer. That's more organised like we saw in the map. You've got due date as well when they're due. So again, it's up to you. I want to go to research. And the first bit of research was the internet. If I come to the right here, you might have only done half your research. So you could select 50% to tell yourself there's only half of that done. So you can see how easy that is to use. I'll go back to view and go back to map. Now I'm going to go and use the Gantt chart option and select it as you're doing your research topic. So at the top here, it gives you a map and you can see here in project form of what needs to be done and what dates at the top here. And if you hold the left button, if you need to change, you can drag these along as well if you need to. Also, if you see here in the fill bit in the middle, if I, if I come to the right here, say you only finish 25% of that, you can see there it only fills 25%. Again, if you prefer to work off Gantt chart mode, you're more than welcome. I'm going to work off your Gantt charts. Do a right click in the corner here and you can select new subtopics. So I've got internet, journals, and I have a subtopic offer there. But if you look down in my research map, it's not showing anything for my, my books, is it, in the Gantt chart? Because I've actually added no information into it. So you need to add the information to show up in your Gantt chart. And if I go to File, Print, Print Preview, and there's my map made to be printed out. But I'm going to go back and go back to Gang, and you can show your Gang chart. Maybe you want it on the right, so you can change positions and how you prefer to work and what angle you prefer to work. I'm going to select top. Quite happy with that. Now, if I tap back off Gang, it goes right back to your main mind map. So just remember, as you're creating maps, you can change to a different format and carry on working with that, depending on how you're more comfortable with working. There's a quick overview, thanks for watching.